algorithms question we have been given a directed acyclic graph or what we call as a dag in that the source vertex is this s and the destination vertex is t in this the quality score for a directed path is defined as the product of the weights of the edges on that path for example if we have a path from a to b to c and the weights are let's say 2 and 3 then for this particular path its quality score will be defined as the product of weights of edges which means 2 times 3 equal to 6 further for a vertex v other than s means for all the other vertices says except for the source vertex the quality score of v is defined to be the maximum among the quality scores of all the paths from s to v it simply implies that let us say there are two paths a to b and let us say c is over here and even that is taking us to b then if the quality score of this particular path this is not just a single edge let us assume that this is a this is some path there may be intermediate vertices in this path and similarly over here this is some path not the intermediate not the direct edge so for b the quality score will be defined as the maximum of these two the quality score let us say v of b will be defined as max of the quality score of path a to b and path c to b so that is how we will be calculating the quality score for all the vertices in this graph for s it is assumed to be 1 so what we have to do is the sum of all the quality scores for this for the vertices in this graph has to be calculated which means for every vertex of this graph we have to calculate its quality score and at the end we have to return their sum so let us take up vertices one by one and calculate their quality scores so let us start we will first note down all the vertices over here we have s e d a rest of them here and then we have f g b e and t so for each of them let us calculate their quality scores for s since it is the source vertex they have already mentioned that it will be 1 then coming to e it is our vertex e is over this one was actually c instead of e this is c so that's our vertex c over here what will be the quality score for vertex c there is only one incoming path to c that is from s to c this one so for this its quality score will simply be 1 next coming to d it is over here now there are two paths that can take us from source to d the first path is s to c and then c to d the second path is from s to a and then a to d we will be taking the max for these two if we take the first path that is s c d then we will get 1 into 1 which is 1 and if we go s a d then that will give us the quality score of 9 times 1 just 9 so we will be taking the max of 2 hence 9 now coming to a vertex a is here there is only one incoming edge so there is single path s to a hence its quality score will directly be 9 now coming to f f is also having just a single incoming edge a single path s to c and then c to f so for this path its quality score will be 9 times of 1 which is 9 now coming to g it is having two incoming edges let us clear our graph for better understanding so now what are the different paths that can lead us to this vertex g starting from s we can go either this way s c d g s c d g or we can go s c f g s c f g or we can go s a d g s a d g is there any other path leading us to g no there are just these three so we'll be taking the max for all of them if we go by the first path s c d g then the quality score will be 1 1 9 which is 9 for s c f g it will be 1 9 1 again 9 for s a d g it will be 
A D and G. Here it is 919, so 81, and that is the max. So we'll be taking 81. Now coming to B, it is over here. There is only one incoming edge, single path S A B, whose quality score will be the product of 9 and 1, that is 9. Now coming to E, here it is. Now there are again multiple ways for reaching to E. First one would be S A S C D E. S C D E. Next would be S A B E. S A B E. There is no other path possible. Or oh, there is one more S A D and E. S A D and E this way. So for each of them, let us calculate the quality score. For the first one, which is S A D E, it will be 9. 1 9 that is 81 then for SCDE it will be 1 1 and 9 that is 9 for SABE it is 9 1 and 1 9 so we'll be taking the max which is 81 so now we are just left with the final destination vertex that is T for that also we are having multiple paths and we'll take the max quality score for it which means the quality score which will give us the uh, maximum value from different paths so let us first identify what are the different paths for reaching to t first one would be s c d g t now this is a simple graph with nine nodes so we can easily visualize the paths it would if it would have been a bit complex then there would have been some difficulty in identifying all the paths just by visualizing so for this we can directly go with this s c d g t then we have s c f g t s c f g t next is s a d g t next can be s a d e t s a d e t and finally s a b e t again let us calculate the score for all of these there seems no other path available and just for verification you can check out that we have these types of problems while you solve the algorithms question that if there is a three cross three grid then how many paths are there to reach from the top left corner to the bottom right corner and we have mathematical formulas for evaluating that for example in this case there are three nodes so we have the permutation and combinations from which we can find out the exact number of ways and you can just use that to check if we have completed all the possible paths or not so that is a way in which you can verify over here let us calculate for all of these paths for this SCDGT, what do we get? S, C, D, G, and T, we get simply 9. For S, C, F, G, T, we will be getting S, C, F, G, T again 9. For S, A, D, G, T, S, A, D, G, and T, it is 81. For S, A, D, E, T, it is S, A, d e and t so in this path we are having three nines s a d e t three nines so hence we get 729 for this and finally s a b e t s a b e t two nines so 81 so obviously we are getting 729 for this so now we have calculated for all the vertices and we simply have to return their sum so let us find out what their sum is from here we get 18 plus 220 and from these vertices we get 729 and 90 and 90 which is 180 180 and 20 is 200 so we get 729 plus 200 that is 929 so that would be the answer for this question